on Magellan. Magellan, he was born in 1480. He's the man, the myth, the winner of Ed McMahon's star search. Maybe not. But first, let's talk about shop safety. First thing you must do is put on your vintage 1960s non-prescription glasses, like so. Now you must turn on the vacuum system to make sure you don't make a mess. Ooh, hear that lovely sound. And another thing you never want to do is put your foot up on the van saw. Ah, ooh, gee, ah, I cut your foot off. Never want to do that. Your power tools like this wonderful Delta 13 inch pointer. Let's talk about Magellan. The guy who, first person to actually sail around the world, even though he really didn't, his crew did. And so you can't really say that he's the first person to sail around the world because he was eaten by cannibals in the Philippines. But besides that, he was the winner of Ed McMahon's Star Search. We all know that. I mean, it's just wonderful. Well, anyways, this is really cool. And I feel like David Suzuki on the nature of things. And throughout this excellent presentation, lots of people might find my humor stupid. And you might not get any of my jokes, but I really don't care what you say because <laughs> this is my thing and I can do whatever I want. But more about Magellan. Um, originally, he was hired by the... Originally, he worked for Portugal, and King, like Manuel, um, didn't want to raise his pay because good old Magellan wasn't a very good boy and wanted to fight some battle. And so what happened was, is good old Magellan went to Spain instead of Portugal. And so, anyways, he went to Spain, to, and they wanted him to find, because he's a navigator, they wanted to find a way around the Cape of Good Hope. And the reason they wanted that is because uh, Portugal, like, owned that, and they wanted a way to get around the Portuguese. And it was just really cool. And the cameraman should start fading out right about now. Doors open. Come in. May I help you? I'm here to see the king of Porch, Ugal. I believe he's riding his horse. Cool. Let's go find him. All right. The reason Magellan wants to talk to the king is because he wants a pay raise. But since he had unorthodox behavior on a previous battle because he was originally more of a soldier than a navigator, he might not get it. And right now, okay, they're okay. looking for the king. This is also a really neat magic trick that some people, you know, might want to try, but you shouldn't try this at home. You might get hurt or something. Don't you wish you could do this? Ah, here's the king. Oh, wow, awesome. 
Hey, there's some bum here who wants to talk to you. I'll well, send it here! Alright. Hey, King of Porch. You go. This is my porch, and I'm King Manuel. What the hell do you want? <laughs> Give me a race, you bastard. Why don't we race instead? Okay. I got my trusty horse. <laughs> This never actually happened, but it gives suspense and drama to this epic presentation on Magellan. Magellan does not get his raise. Oh, you think Mohican me win? Oh. You suck! Go find work somewhere else! You piece of dog poop! Leave! Go! Raise the main sails! Whoa! Look, Look tis it's the Northern, the Northern Star. Star. We shall navigate you can navigate from, from it. Star. Yay! <laughs> Even though it's really a light. We'll second that first one. Question one. Could Magellan swim on cement? Well, at least not very well. Got Magellan's brand new boxy import. He is sailing to Spain. <laughs> okay, we're going to have some more power tool safety tips. And the first of all is the safety spectacles. Let's put them on. And what we're going to go over, instead of the bands, I'm going to go over the uh, pneumatic nail gun. First thing you need to do is have to be a compressor like such. And then what you must always do is keep it away from young infants' limbs. Magellan gets his Spain to try to find an alternative route to Use the, paddle the Spice me. Islands. Oh. And he must avoid the Cape of Good oh, Hope okay. because it is controlled by Portugal. Let's set sail for adventure. Magellan, and he's sailing across the Atlantic. And when there wasn't enough wind, he used his paddle and had a friend pull him with a Bowen garden tractor. All right. Look at him go. <laughs> right now, Magellan is sailing south towards the Cape of Good Hope. He's also calling my neighbor's dog because he's a total moron. He encounters rough seas and his ship is damaged. <laughs> he also runs aground. <laughs> Magellan is now in the Philippines and he has to take a rest.
During his stay in the Philippines, Magellan is killed by natives. Watch very closely and we can see a native right now running off with Magellan's head. <laughs> Basketball. Basketball? <laughs> Once the natives had his head in possession, they took and they played basketball with his head. Oh! Those bats! Here we are. The natives are preparing to barbecue Magellan's head, and so they first must tenderize it using high-tech methods such as a hoe and a sledgehammer because they're having a barbecue. It's barbecue time, and I'm far and I'm Fireman Bob, and saying that we're going to have another fine barbecue this year. Oh, right, look at that char broil. Mm mm mm. Okay, put it Magellan's crew is now home from the Philippines. They have barely survived it and their ship is in shambles. They're returning home to Spain. They're the first person to sail around the world. And look at that winner of a crew member. Don't you want to be just like him? He's awesome. <laughs> Don't you wish you could be like Magellan's crew? He's a stud muffin. Look at that man. Ooh, he's cool. Don't you wish you could be like him? Not so special effects by Jim Corbett. Big fat ass Joel Watkins. He had nothing to do with the movie, but he's a fat person. <laughs> 